Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. In this video, I'm going to cover a problem that's been discussed lately quite a bit, and it concerns owners of the Pro 3800, that is Epson 3800s, 3880s, R3000s. They're reporting problems with their magenta channels, basically clogging or going blank. Now, usually that does not happen. You do not really lose a complete channel, and a lot of times it's not really due to a normal clogging process where your nostrils are clogged by say dried up ink due to lack of use say if you don't print on a daily or weekly basis you would then end up with a few nozzles that would be blocked and you would normally uh, clear that up by running a cleaning cycle now these people have been reporting that they have been running numerous cleaning cycles to no avail their magenta channels simply do not clear up now it's funny that the problems are showing up on printers that have stationary cartridges that is cartridges that are mounted outside of the path of the printhead itself where it traverses from right to left as it's printing the cards are actually mounted externally on a separate compartment and ink is fed via ink lines to the dampers that ride on top of the printheads and then they feed the actual printhead itself now two possibilities and this one possibility i actually experienced myself now traditionally magenta pigment ink is basically a bit thicker or more viscous than the other colors and that by itself makes it prone to any kind of a clog you might say or what looks like a clog now here's what i had to do with my pro 3800 and i have a video covering that i could not get in this case it wasn't just my magenta it was my magenta and my cyan channel just the full strength magenta and cyan not the light channels now i was performing cleaning cycles to no avail no change not even one extra little line clearing up so i thought oh boy my my printer is shot and i need to look for a replacement then i decided to do the ammonia or the windex soaked paper towel trick where you rest the printhead on top of the soaked towel and allow it to clean itself with the ammonia fumes nothing that did not help whatsoever then i thought oh boy i'm gonna to have to maybe do a reinitialization of the printer using an adjustment program well that almost became a need until i discovered that my seal or my gasket around the purge unit or the rectangular unit that you see on the far right hand of the printer if you were to have the printhead shifted toward the left you would see a capping station and that's part of the purge unit that capping station is got a rubber gasket on the the perimeter of the actual rectangular perimeter and that seals onto the nozzle plate when you run a cleaning cycle then the suction generated by the purge pump can actually physically act upon the printhead and force ink to be drawn through those nozzles and therefore hopefully clean the obstruction now the problem was my purge pad was not sealing properly against my nozzle plate so why it was full of crud and as much as i preach maintenance folks i have 16 to 17 printers and i simply forgot to maintain that particular 3800 i have two of them so what happened was i went ahead and thoroughly cleaned it and after i wiped the bottom of the printhead with my ammonia soaked paper towels and i also cleaned the wiper blade when i set the printer back upon that perch pad turned on the printer and did a cleaning cycle it magically came up to about 98 percent fully clear where before multiple cycles even nothing would fix it so so all of a sudden I realized, ah, my gasket was not sealing properly against my nozzle plate. So cleaning cycles were basically moot. They were not performing any suction of ink out of the printhead. Okay, so that's one possibility. The other possibility is that somehow air has migrated into the ink lines. And that is practically impossible to purge out with just normal cleaning cycles. Even power cycles will just not purge out all the air. Now, you have to go back to the original situation when you unbox your printer and you install those virgin carts in that printer. And that ink system was totally devoid of ink. During the initial setup or the initialization of the printer, ink was literally forced into the ink system purging out all of the air and you basically use almost 30 percent of all of your ink to purge out the air fill those stampers full of ink and prime that print hit and quite a lot of it ended up in your maintenance card and that was the only way to get that printer purged of air now 
there is no function in your driver to run a, an initiation you need to have a Epson adjustment program and unfortunately those are only available to the Epson service technicians but you can find them you can find them on eBay so feel free to look up any Epson and then type in the model and then just type in reset and you will find someone usually in Europe who is selling those particular adjustment programs now I'm going to go ahead since we're speaking about the 3800 I'm going to go ahead and open up my adjustment program now one thing that you need to do a lot of these things uh, are a little bit odd they're designed to work only on XP or even older OS but often you can I'm running Windows 7 here so often you can just right click on the EXE go to properties compatibility and click on Windows XP service pack 3 and that will tell it that it's running on a Windows XP computer and usually that will get you going and in this case it does so now we have to do is right click run as administrator say yes in this case you get sometimes an error but what you have to do is uh, just click beyond that error and it will open up to this particular window here you want to click on individual and say start and then you will reach this secondary window I'm gonna go ahead and close this out of the way unfortunately we cannot make this any bigger but what you do now you have a series of operations and you really have to be very careful what you do here because you can really really mess up your firmware and all sorts of problems now we're going to be looking for initial ink charge and that's the one you would run if you click OK my 3800 will begin an initiation where it will actually purge every bit of ink that's already in the ink lines in the dampers and on the printhead and dump it into your waste ink cartridge or your maintenance card you have to make sure that your maintenance car is capable of receiving all of that ink because remember when it was new it literally went to half capacity during that initial setup and that's basically all you have to do you will then be assured unless you have other mechanical problems such as a leaky ink line or a, a damper that has come loose somehow but if that is the case you will probably find evidence of ink all over the inside of your printhead compartment the printhead is covered with a uh, transparent plastic case you would see you know ink everywhere internally but if it's simply a an air leak that was introduced due to say a bad cartridge of some sort or if you're using refillable cards that would be very common that you would end up introducing air in your ink lines this is what you would do so let's go back to the beginning I'm gonna go ahead and do this again we're gonna open up your program you're gonna right click run as administrator and hit OK run individual start and then you would scroll down and do initial ink charge and this is specific only to the 3800 I'm sure there's one for the 3880 and it might be the same one I'm just not entirely sure alright so that's that's basically it alright so if you like this video please like it don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions concerning any of these types of adjustment programs just ask me and I will lead you to where you can find them and so until the next time, as always, happy printing and bye-bye.